On today's adventure, we're bringing you on board the Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We were invited to come and share some highlights of a special guest violinist that will be playing a variety of songs that you'll be able to virtually enjoy. He will play some classics that are not only beautiful to hear, but also some modern songs with lots of energy that's fun to watch. So sit back and relax as we head into the music gallery. So starting from the front entrance, let's work our way through the museum to get up to the music gallery. There's lots of information in here about the ship and the maiden voyage. Let's work our way through the drawing room. It's got some information about the ship's builders and the captain. Let's go over through the shipyard and go past Grapes Hub, working through some artifacts. Got a little model of the ship over here. Got a place to power up the ship over here to the left. Let's work our way through the Father Brown Gallery next real quick. So many photos. And work our way into third class where you can see what a third class cabin would have been like. Now let's work our way to the Grand Staircase. Hello, welcome to the Grand Staircase. This is the halfway point of your tour and it's the beginning of first class, as I'm sure you can tell. This part of your tour was built to scale. It means the original blueprints to construct everything under and including the skyline. We also used all of the same materials. All of these beautiful golden medallions, as well as this golden torch and sheriff's hands, are covered in 24 karat gold. And these chandeliers that you see, including the great big one on my head, those are genuine Austrian crystal. They would have been hand cut in 1912. Now that we've made our way to the grand staircase, let's work our way through a first class cabin. And the music gallery is just down the hall here. All right, let's work our way to the music gallery and listen to some live music. All of these gentlemen that you see behind me, uh, pictured behind me, of course, are uh, were the musicians that were on the Titanic. They never played together. They played in different parts of the ship. So there were five Steinways, so... Uh, scattered throughout the ship. So they were playing all over the ship and then when the ship started going down all of the musicians came together and started playing and because of course they wanted to comfort the passengers, right? I would be scared, would you? Yeah, I'd be scared. And so uh, during the process of their playing a pastor came up named uh, Robert Bateman who was, had one time had been from Knoxville, Tennessee. But he walks up and he says, uh, would you please play Nearer My God to Thee? And uh, he said, sure. My father, father taught me that song when I was a, a young boy. And um, so they played Nearer My God to Thee. We don't know when, but we do know that they did play it. And so after they played for a time, uh, Wallace Hartley uh, looked at all the gentlemen and he said, Gentlemen, you are dismissed. You may go to the lifeboats. And so all of the men began to walk to the lifeboats, except Wallace Hartley. And Wallace Hartley continued to play. And each and every one of those men that you see pictured there behind me turned around, came back, and they played until the icy cold water came up over their feet and each and every one of them perished. We believe here at the Titanic that when the music stopped, the legend began. Now I want to introduce you to Marky. And Marky is from Ukraine. We have a Ukrainian flag flying on our mast today. And uh, we are honoring Ukraine today as well as Marky. What do you want to play, Marky? I will play something Ukrainian. Then he's going to do something Ukrainian. And uh, we're just delighted to have him here today. And with that, take it away, Marky.
Sounds good. called Don't Ask. Don't Ask? I don't know what that means. Okay, okay, I won't ask. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, this is Marky Lucky that we have with us today, only for a few hours, actually. And we're delighted to have him here today. He is from Ukraine. Uh, they actually had to uh, stop his schooling because of the, the problems that they, were have, that they are having in Ukraine. And so UT offered him a full, full scholarship. He came here. He's finishing up his degree in just a few weeks, and then he's headed to the University of Miami yes, very quickly, and he's going to get his master's degree and start, I, my guess, is his own studio or his own business. He's going to take all the world. He's going to take the world. So what are you going to do next? Let's do a Ukrainian song, okay? What's what your grandmother loves. How about the one your, uh, the one your grandmother loves? Okay? Yep. Let's do that. Let's do it. Thank you. 
Okay, Martin, tell us, tell us about that song. Okay, what, how, why is that song special to you? That song is special to me because it's called My Dear Mother. And my mom was the one who brought me to the music school when I was about five years old. Oh, and I just wow. started playing the violin and I hated it for about <laughs> a year. Uh -huh. You know, I had to keep up with that and I had to practice, but I didn't like it at first. But I'm so glad she did uh, encourage me uh, to play the violin because I love it right now. And, um, you know, my dear mother, that's the song. So, okay, so you were actually honoring your mother when you played that yep. song. They wanted so, only. I wish more mothers would force children to do music. I think it would be. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you know, well, you're falling in love with it, obviously, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, see, your mom took the initiative and said, I think my son would really like this. For Maybe sure. after a while, right? Yeah. And then, so you stayed with it and. Wow! Yeah, really awesome. Just found still, myself. Is, now, is your mom still in Ukraine, or? Okay. Yeah, my my parents are still in Ukraine, western part of Ukraine. Okay. My hometown, which is very close to Romania. Okay. So uh, it's away from fighting. Okay. What have you got next? Uh, I have um, a classical song, a classical. Oh yeah. Music, okay. Classical wonderful. piece. One yeah. of my favorite classical pieces of all time, by Vivaldi. It's called Summer. Oh yeah. Okay. Awesome. Super. Yeah, we love that. want to hear well let's do something kind of soothing this time so soothing. yeah let's let's change yeah. the pace a little bit
Feeling Good by Michael Bublé. Okay, awesome. Good, yeah.
So, Marky's going to play another piece. What do you want to play? Can I play a song by Drake? Yes, go ahead and play a song by Drake. We're going to do some really cool stuff. Come on in, folks. Please come in the room. A Rich Baby Daddy by Drake. <laughs> any Beatles? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, why don't you do a Beatles song? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm kind of hungry for that. What do you got? I got Yesterday. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, Professor Danny Griffin. Yes. Let's go.
delighted to have a Marky Lucky here playing for us today. And uh, he is from Ukraine. He is getting ready to graduate from UT in just a few weeks. And he is, uh, you got juries coming up? Nope. You're just, done. I'm, I'm done with all my juries. Oh, wow. Yeah, How, yeah that's a relief, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. So juries means that they test you and you have to stand in front of people and play. Are you a musician? Used to be. Okay, so that means he had to sit in front of a group of uh, uh, professors and... Probably that's why he quit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be a teacher. You didn't oh. want to be a teacher. Okay, I got it. I'm going to play a song called Believer. Believer? Okay, awesome. And tell us about that song before you play it. Uh, it's a very high energy song. Right. It has a lot of power to it. Okay, awesome. We're going to finish up today's uh, uh, in concert uh, with My Heart Will Go On because what better song to, to do at the very end. So, Marky, give us our last song of the day, our My Heart Will Go On.
That was his last song yeah. after two whole hours. Can you imagine playing for two hours? Please come on in, folks, and I'm going to introduce you to our resident musician, who is Josh. He also has perfect pitch, by the way. He's legally blind. He's a graduate from Troy University, and he is going to be playing for you uh, a Scott Joplin piece, which was brand new music during those days on the Titanic, and they would have said that Joplin's music was the cat's meow. That means it was really cool, all right? So with that, I'm going to give it to Josh. Go ahead, Josh. enjoyed some music let's work our way through the rest of the museum real quick I'm not gonna stop and talk about too much that we see we have a full tour of the Titanic you can watch that video next if you haven't yet you could actually feel the 28 degree water over here on the right a little movie presentation in the next room Come to the children's gallery. Up here on the right is 
always fascinating to me. You can see the different degrees that the ship was at at different times as it was sinking. As well as some other artifacts and things you can check out in this room, including the Tot Titanic area. Kids can play with some stuff. The names of the crew, first class passengers, second class passengers. And we have made it back to the grand staircase. The clock on the wall over here. So let's work our way yeah, back to the front of the museum. The work our way out the gift shop. We hope you enjoyed this trip to the music gallery inside the Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. If you did, be sure to simply like this video and let us know your favorite piece of music played in the comments. We have some other videos from the Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge. You can also check out that are pinned in the comment below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.